Mayor David Briley is making some big personnel changes in his office. As a result, a central figure in Nashville's economic growth is stepping aside. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall is here to look at the legacy of former finance director Rich Riebling. Well, Roy Riebling worked with the last three mayors and helped craft deals that led to the city's remarkable growth. His departure now begins a new chapter. This is the end of an era for that, of gunslinging, goosing the balance sheet, get the deal, going to have more deals. Councilman at large John Cooper has been critical of some of the development deals overseen by Rich Riebling that are part of Nashville's growth. In the next couple of years, I do think that people will, by and large, hold him responsible for our current financial woes. The deals included the new convention center, the new baseball stadium for the Sounds, and development in the Gulch. They were all approved by the council and supported by the mayors at the time. We were really working for- Riebling was finance director under Mayor Carl Dean, and then promoted to chief operating officer by Mayor Megan Barry. Now Mayor Briley is wishing him well and thanking him for his service. I think this is Mayor Briley basically putting his stamp on that office. Riebling helped navigate the city's finances through the 2010 flood and through the Great Recession. When you're both the finance director and then the COO, you're, you're right there at the very top. You're not the mayor, but you're certainly the second in command. He leaves as the city faced a financial shortfall that left it unable to provide promised pay raises to Metro employees. He's received praise for the city's remarkable growth, but there are still questions about the city's financial future. We are headed to a different place financially, the city, for the next couple of years. I think everybody agrees with that. We have trouble paying our bills. Debt service has gone way up. Mayor Briley also announced a new chief of staff. It will be Emily Passini, who was his campaign manager. Again, he expressed his thanks to Riebling for his years of service.